Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here again with another lot. Uh, this one from eBay. It actually is a Goodwill, the Goodwill of Maine, but I got this on eBay. So for a three pound lot of Magic Gathering, I paid 26 bucks with way too much shipping, $20. So ended up paying about 47 bucks for three, do three pounds of somewhat promising looking cards. There's nothing really big shown. Um, there is on the top a rare. The Grand Architect right here and it kind of feels like they just kind of picked it and threw it on top because the rest of it all looks like commons and uncommons I uh, got a liquid metal coating here so there is some scars of Mirrodin era stuff at least um, there were some foils in here that were kind of interesting so yeah they're over here let's take a look if we can find them in the pictures where'd they go there they are okay so these are all foils, and one of them happens to be a Journey to Nowhere. And I'm pretty, I'm hopeful that this one right here is at Autumn's Edge from Future Sight, uh, which would be a pretty good foil to have. So, um, hoping to do better than 47 bucks today, and uh, we're gonna open the box and find out how we do. All right, here it is, a box from Goodwill of Maine. Got a beat up old booster box of Conflux. And yep, foil Savage Land. So, like I said, hopefully there are some foils in here that are going to uh, manatize a good card. Yep, a couple of those. So, there's some hope here. We might be able to uh, maybe uh, break even and then some. Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Total pay for the lot, 47 bucks. I'm just gonna actually put this over here. That's easy to grab from, it's small. Let's go through it. So hey, a foil Savage Lands is a buck 64. So there we go, off to a good start. Mana Tithe should be about a buck, right? Yeah, very good. So two of those. So Liquid Metal Coating, I think has come up a little bit. Yeah, let's see about the Scars version. Yep, a buck 30. Thopter Foundry is pretty good. Couple bucks there. Right around. Okay, so here's the first rare, the Grand Architect, the one that was shown on the very top. 471, not bad. Is it the only rare we're gonna find in this box? Let's find out. So, Burnished Heart from Theros is an okay card. There we go, buck 45. Triumph for the Hordes, that's a hit right there. See, if you're gonna leave behind Uncommons, this is the one I'd like you to leave behind, so. Thank you very much. Wow, they've gone way up. $12.99 for an Uncommon from New Phyrexia. Buck 95, one, two, three of those. So that's a little win in my book. Whoops. Three of those. So, man, we're almost to breaking even. Hey, Whisper Silk Cloaks. Dark Steel version. M10 version. And another Dark Steel. Hey, 
need a steel overseer. And a voltaic key. So I think we are going to actually break even here. Yep, a couple bucks on the steel overseer. Another voltaic key. Journey to nowhere though as a foil should be pretty decent. Zendikar, foil. Foil Journey to Nowhere is $4.97 and it's in great shape. Well, there's a little bit of stuff on the back there. Mercy Killing from Shadowmoor. Foil is $6.99. Alright, we're getting there. Um, we got a Foil Swamp. And Edge of Autumn, but it's not a foil. Oh, bummer. Cavern Imp is nothing. Edge of Autumn is a buck. Uh, the foil version would have probably been like uh, almost 10 bucks, I think. So I've been checking vampire tokens lately and they sometimes do pretty good. Expedition map, there we go. 414, that's good. Sinew Sliver should be a little bit. Yep, 295, very nice. Sidewinder Sliver, probably nothing. Hey, there's a buck. Very nice. Hey, a legacy weapon from 10th edition. Cool art. And it's three bucks. All right, I'm glad to see that there are some rares in here. Unwinding clock, there we go, that's a decent rare. 550, very nice, so. They left us a little meat here. Gargoyle, Juggernaut, Conjurer's Closet. Wow, to close it out. And a spawning pit. So that's actually pretty decent for the end of the box here. So Conjurer's Closet, five something. Elkin Bottle I think is a rare. And that is probably from 5th edition. It's not going to be any better. In the Spawning Pit, it should be okay as well. A couple bucks there. Wow. Well that turned out actually a lot better than I thought it was going to, but that's why I take these gambles, right? So I end up with a $12 uncommon and some okay rares and foils and uh, a few more okay rares and foils so that's what it is so thanks for watching uh kind of fun to do go through little ones like this and it doesn't take too long so make sure to give me a like and comment down below and check out my other videos tragic mtg saying see you later